a bronze in Tokyo, silver in Rio, and a gold in Paris. Congratulations, Bryony Page, Olympic champion. Thank you so much. It feels amazing. I just, yeah, can't believe it. Does it feel, do you think, even better because you've gone up, if you like, in those incremental stages? Because there is that special currency about being an Olympic champion, even though you have two Olympic medals already. Yeah, definitely. I think, like, for me, winning the silver in Rio, it felt like a gold medal because I was just so happy with my performance and the best I could have done on that day in that moment. So for me, it felt like gold. But um, since then, I've been kind of dreaming of becoming an Olympic champion and, like, feel like I had the potential to do it and missed out in Tokyo so but still managed to get a medal so to be able to complete the set it is it really feels something very extremely special and is that the motivation to carry on because it's not easy to get to Olympic champion <laughs> status and to have come back three times three Olympic games all the training all the hard work is that what kept you going um, I don't know if this is a, a bad answer but no I think the, the thing that keeps me going is that I just love the sport um, I just want to see how good I can get on it. I want to see, I want to know what the feeling is of the next skill that I want to put in the routine, the feeling of performing it for the first time in competition. So for me, the motivation is I just, I absolutely, I just really love training. I love, I love being on the trampoline. I want to see how good I can get. And, um, and then the, like the goal targets, the competition targets, they're secondary and they, they do keep me focused, but, um, they're not the internal motivation. That's just me wanting to jump on a trampoline. <laughs> and I was listening to you do an interview with my colleague John Cushing straight after your medal yesterday and we know about Cirque du Soleil but you're saying you think you can do even better so you might be thinking about another Olympics? Yeah I'd love to be able to kind of squeeze in everything I possibly can out of trampolining before I have to finish or decide to finish so um, going to the circus would be an absolute dream. I'd like love to perform and use trampolining in a different way or my aerial skills in a different way. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd love to be able to do such a slay. It's something that I've dreamt about since I was a little kid when I first watched the show. I just didn't realise I was going to be trampolining for such a long time. <laughs> so I've kind of, if I leave it till after LA, I might, they might not want me because it's a bit, I'll be a little bit older. So if I can kind of see if I can get in before, then um, maybe they'll allow me to have a little break to do another Olympics and then come back. <laughs> I remember we'll first, first meeting you in Birmingham at Kitting Out pre-Rio and you were shy and you were unsure of yourself when you did the interview. So where does this confidence come from when you get on the trampoline? Um, yeah, so I, I don't actually have too much confidence when I go into a trampoline competition. I have a lot of self-doubt and all the those negative thoughts and it's just kind of working with a psychologist to try and either drown them out or distract them or just let them kind of float away um, and then just refocus on the technical cues essentially. So I think the what gets me through the competition is my training um, and like whether and and just prep work so whether it's training on the trampoline my physical prep work for strengths to be able to adapt to adapt to any kind of position on the trampoline um, and all, all the psych work that we put in and nutrition everything that kind of comes together for that moment um, just all the prep work that's kind of what gets me through and now how do you enjoy this uh, yeah so hopefully you'll be able to celebrate with my teammates um, they've done it amazingly well like Zach is his first Olympics he's finished fourth and um, he'll be buzzing hopefully and same with Izzy she's like done a amazingly well in her first Olympic game so I hope that we can celebrate as a team with our coaches and support team so yeah to celebrate that tonight and then tomorrow I'll go and see my family and celebrate with a bottle of champagne probably. <laughs> well you enjoy your bubbles it's been a privilege to follow your career and we will continue to do so. Bryony Page Olympic champion thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>